Hey everyone. All right. Right now we're going to look at the uh, trim function. T R I M. This red spell for you right here. And the trim function is really the the goal behind that is to get rid of the lingering spaces before after after a string. And you could use L trim or R trim or just plain trim that kind of covers both and uh, I would recommend just use trim just because hey get rid of both both strings and do it do it quickly do it uh, front and back all right so uh, range a2 range a2 if I go to my worksheet here range a2 has the same name John Everett Maxwell Now I'm going to go ahead and step through the code by doing an F8. F8, excuse me. So my range A2 could be this guy, John Everett Maxwell. And then the, the, the right of the last name is going to be the last, the last eight characters. So remember the right function? This extracts the last X number of characters from a string. Okay, I'm extracting the left, or uh, the right eight characters from that string. It just so happens to be the the guy's whole name of Maxwell. Plus, notice that there's a little space there. It's a quotation mark space Maxwell. So there's no quotation. There's no space at the end of the name. Just at the beginning of the name. So now I'm going to use the trim function to get rid of that space. So here I'm going to bang, get rid of the space. Okay, so notice that I have no space. Quotation mark, no space, Maxwell, quotation mark. And I'm going to write that into this cell right here. Cell C2. Okay, back in action. Oh, okay, so. Back action, I see uh, C2 has no space, it's just pure Maxwell. Thanks, thanks for watching. That's all, that's pretty much the, the whole of the, of the germ function. Get rid of those lingering spaces. Make your strings pretty. Bye.